is something that, uh, for those of you who are with me in Swedish, you're already familiar with to a certain extent, because it's very similar to muscle stripping. We essentially pick a meridian. I'm too terribly focused on the muscles this time. We pick a meridian, and then we push along that meridian. So it could be done anywhere on the body and any meridian. We could do it, you know, for this demo, we'll do it on the back and on the arm just so you can see the difference. So as far as our contact surface is concerned, any of our main contact surfaces are acceptable. I tend to use either the palm of my hand, my fingers, or my forearm. I don't really like to use my elbow though, it's too specific. So I'll stand at the top of the table and I'll go down the entire urinary bladder meridian just using the palm of my hands. And it's not, uh, it's, it's again uh, more of a moderate amount of pressure and we do so either over top of clothing or over top of a sheet. So what you'll notice is as I start to pull, push down rather, taking your shirt with me. It's not uncommon, so what you use is your other hand to anchor the shirt or the sheet if you were using a top sheet, and then you just move down the meridian. And as I get closer to the bottom, notice as my hand turns, because I don't want to be going either underneath the pants or shorts, I just twist my hand either out or in. So it's similar to what we saw with rubbing, right? Because rubbing is this nice, gentle, we're going along the meridian with a little bit more pressure. If you are on top of a sheet, it's a little bit easier sometimes because there's less friction. You can use both hands. So you get standing at the top of the table and use a lunge stance using both hands down. We usually do this technique without the use of oil. So again, it's over top of the sheets. But if you are working on somebody's skin, that's fine. But you will need a very small amount of oil to be able to get a bit more pressure when you work directly skin as well. So it's going to be pushing technique. We could do pushing technique on the arm, for example. Would you mind rolling over for me? Could you okay. go face up for me? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So if say we're working on, well, we would work on all of the uh, young meridians of the arm. And we're not too terribly concerned about the direction. Posters, okay. We're not too concerned about the direction, whether we're going with the meridian or against the meridian. We do the same thing. We get into a little lunge position. And then with this hand, I'm going to use the back of my hand in this case. The big reason why is when we're working directly on skin, I use the palm of my hand, I'll stick. So I'll just use the back of my hand, a nice loose fist. Move up those young meridians towards the elbow. If they're wearing a t-shirt or a tank top, and of course go all the way up. Along that way. Easy enough? Okay. Now, the same technique. We can, uh, we can, of course, use anywhere on the body, but I'll do another demonstration, which is okay work on your forehead. Yeah. So the reason I'm working on the forehead is because I'm going to show you two different techniques, one of which we really only do while working on the head and face. All right. Yeah, you're good there. So we've got the Doom Meridian. Now I'm going to be going against the flow of the Doom Meridian in this case. I'll just use my fingers to do this pushing technique. So usually when we think pushing, you're gonna push, but pushing is essentially moving along the meridian. So in this case, I can come towards myself. It seems like I'm pulling, but it's still technically called pushing technique. As I move along the meridian towards myself, nice and easy. Easy enough. Great. So again, any meridian we want to, we can go all the way through the hairline as well. Now the next, Frictional technique is called wiping. Now, the wiping technique is pretty much only done on uh, a head, face, and scalp treatment. You can do it on the hands and feet too, but it's not quite as easy. So, wiping is essentially we apply a moderate amount of pressure, we spread the tissues apart. So as always, when you're doing these techniques, even while sitting, we're paying attention to our mechanics. You want to be relaxed. You don't want your shoulders up near your ears. You want to stay nice and relaxed. So we're not going with the meridian. We're not considering any specific meridian. We're just going across the forehead. So that's going to be pushing and wiping.